Well, hello people on YouTube, this is Saint Anger 74 and today I'm doing a review of this baby right over here in front of your eyes. Oh, um, I managed to get it yesterday for, actually no, today, January 1st, 2013 for New Year. And I'm recording with my new camera, so I might do a review of that once I figured out all the specs and all the details with the menu and all the features and stuff. That's going to be a longer review. Now this... This is a shorter review. I'm just going to list all the specs and detail and stuff and tell you how good it really is. Because this thing rivals studio microphones. It's actually really, really amazing quality. And it is the USB condenser microphone Apex 440. Yeah. Um, it doesn't come with a boom. This is a Yorkville uh, MS-206. So that's what it is. Um, but this gray thing and the microphone is what came with that box. Yeah. Zoom. Okay, there we go. So this microphone doesn't have very many buttons on it, but the sound quality is absolutely incredible. I recorded a drum cover and I recorded a commentary with it. So it's absolutely beautiful. Um, not many buttons on it. This, actually let's start with you. This is a 10 decibel subtraction, so like, it doesn't record, uh, it records 10 decibels less than you'd usually record, which is used for like, you know, not overwhelming the electronics while you're recording. If you're lo recording loud instruments, like drums or something, this is what this is for. The, this is for recording loud stuff without making the microphone sound really bad. This is what I recorded my drums with, so I flicked it over to the, to the negative 10, and my drum sounded better than ever, even though they're shitty. They're like a beginner kit uh, with new cymbals and stuff. This, um, I read on the instruction that this is an uh, 80 kilohertz, like, um, low-frequency roll-off filter. Um, I'm not that big of a... I'm not that big of a spec guy. Um, I don't really know much about recording equipment. This is my first ever microphone that I've had ever. So I don't know what that is. Uh, it doesn't matter with it. For me, I really haven't found a difference, but apparently this makes it sound cleaner and neater. So, you know, your choice. It also lights up nice and blue when you plug it into the computer. And it's a USB. It's a USB 2.0 going into the computer right over there. So that's basically all the microphone is. This is... Um, let's see, you could all, you also have these little clips, and you pull them, you can pull the microphone out. I don't want to do that right now. But, the sound quality is pretty freaking beautiful. If you ask me, I'm gonna put in my own voice, uh, right now. This is my voice with the microphone. Well, there you heard it. My own voice with this microphone. Anyways. The specs. Now, I'm going to be reading them off the instruction manual kind of thing that came with it because I don't feel like memorizing all this crap. If it's important to you, keep watching because I'm just going to be reading all this stuff. Um, let's see. Type Y diaphragm FET condenser with USB. Polar pattern card cardioid. Capsule 35 millimeter gold spluttered. Frequency response 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Sensitivity negative 40 decibels. SN ratio 75 decibels for 1 PA. Max SPL 137 decibels. Power requirement USB low power device. Resolution 24 bit 96 kilohertz. Controls negative, deci negative 10 decibel pad 80 hertz. Oh, not 80 kilohertz, 80 hertz. Low frequency roll off. Connection USB. Dimensions and whatever else. You already saw that. You don't need to know that. Anyways, I don't know what any of this means because I have I really have no idea what like this recording equipment stuff is telling me about. But yeah, it's basically all it comes with. It comes with this little sheet right here that just tells you all the information and and that's basically it. That's, that's all for the review. So you know, thank you for watching and see you guys later. Goodbye.